In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can put your images together into one, one frame if you were taking multiple pictures and wanted to show repetition through multiple images. This is something we'll probably do or we'll definitely do later on this semester when we're working in series. So the first thing you're going to need to do is open up the images, uh, the images that you've you know already added, the ones you want to put together as a series. Um, you can still edit them when you're doing this, but I'd like to have them, you know, I would just recommend having them um, edited uh, previously. So I'm going to do my file open. I've already downloaded these and named them, so I'm going to hold my shift button down and that will allow me to select multiple. I'll choose open. Now you're probably wondering how come I only see one? Well, they're all three here on this uh, little tab sort of way to do things. So what I like to do is I like to just drag them down so that way I can actually see I can actually see all my three images. Okay, I just did, you know, I'm a little under the weather, so I took some pictures of ramen real quick, uh, just for example here. Um, the process of cooking it and kind of how the bubbles and the noodles all created this sort of repetition of texture and then line and shape. So what I need to do first is just kind of check I'm going to check one of them. I, they took them with the same device, so I'm just going to do um, an image um, image size check just to kind of see where I'm at. I see I have a resolution of 300 and it's about 8 by 12 inches. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is I'm going to create a new file and I want to stick to kind of a similar size if I was putting this all together. Um, more so the resolution, because I would like this to print okay. Now, if this is an 8 by 12, that's not going to print on a regular printers. Um, so I do want to stick with a resolution of 300 so that when I have these images, I don't have to do a whole lot of resizing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to do a file new. Okay, and I am going to um, change... I'm going to keep the resolution the same, and I see that my my um, the orientation of my pictures are vertical. So I know that I want to um, line them up, and when I line them up together, you know, three in a row, um, it's going to fit better on an, um, a horizontal format, uh, sort of. Um, maybe it'll fit better on a horizontal format. Most of the time it's going to fit better horizontally because you're going to have more dimension um, going across. So I'm going to make sure my width is 10 and my height is 8 inches. And this is, oh I did that wrong. Oh no I didn't. Sorry, I'm in my crop tool. Silly me. So I'm going to go on to my move tool. And what I want to do, my untitled, is move that down as well. So now I can maneuver around all these images. Okay. Now see, I don't have to do a ton of resizing. Um, now let's see, I'm going to take my ramen one, and I'm just going to place it right on that image. So I just click right on the image and place it. I am going to have to do some resizing, which I believe I showed you how to resize an image, but in case I didn't, um, it's Command T. Okay, and that will create this free transform. You can also go to your Edit um, Free Transform option, but I like to use Command T. And always hold down your Alt and your Shift key when resizing so that it constrains the proportions. This means that it will keep things. It will keep things. Um, it won't distort. So now I need my ramen two image. Do do do. Do do do. Bring that back here. Kind of all zoomed out here. Here's my ramen two, so I'm just going to click and drag, click and drag that. 
here. And again, I'm going to hit Command T and Alt Shift, holding that down while I drag this. And you don't necessarily have to keep them the same size, but it does help with that sense of repetition um, and pattern if you keep keep the works the same size. I'm double click on that when I'm ready. And now I need ramen three. And I see that I'm resizing them and I have a lot of space here. So, oh, sorry. There we go. So I could um, so I could decide to crop this even further later on, and I'll show you how you can do that too. But now I need my ramen three. Drag that there. Command T. Shift Alt. Resize this guy. I kind of crop some of these so they're you know like. That first one's a little wider. But this will work. Okay. So then here's my here's my set. Oh, Command T. I want to make this one just a smidge smaller. All right. There we go. So this would be my uh, series piece to show repetition. Um, in my layers box here, I'm just gonna close some of these ramen so you can see. In my layers box here, I can see all three of these um, images here. I prefer to keep the white background because it reminds me of a gallery setting, so I would probably just leave that. But if you wanna get fancy, um, you could click on your background, click on your paint bucket, and pick up a different color like, I don't know, dark gray. I would definitely stick with something neutral, but making sure of course you're clicked on the background and you could do something fancy pants like that. Um, bringing back some of the other things we have done such as um, we did this with our uh, badges. We could do a stroke, um, you know, a color white stroke around the edge. Um, and we could do that for each of these. I mean, if you've got time for this and this is really how you want to fancify your work, you could do it. Um, let's see where did that stroke, white. All right. And then you could kind of do this sort of, it almost kind of comes out already looking like it's matted, I guess. You could go that fancy route if you wanted to. But just keep in mind, you know, I'm really looking at your photos. I'm not looking at all the fancy pants stuff that you're doing around the edge. So again, I said if I wanted to crop this further, because maybe I didn't like this edge here, I could just pick up my crop tool um, and, you know, crop this a little further by stretching it around and maybe eliminating some of that um, edge there. Just a little bit less of it and I'm a little I'm gonna zoom out command minus so you can see the whole thing. So then this you know would be more of my final piece. This is what I'd submit um, and then I do a file Save as, and this would be my final, final um, JPEG image. Okay, and then I hit save. Okay, and that's what I'd submit. Okay, so um, again, this was just kind of looking at how to put multiple frames together. Obviously, I know in Instagram or whatever, you can throw things however you want, but this way you can crop it and change it however you want. So hopefully that was helpful for you, and I'm looking forward to seeing your images.